Happy Jay's Giving. I'm Alyssa Shipper, and I'm the Director of Campus Ministry here at Galen Catholic School, and I'm here with some of my students who are on Christian Leadership Team, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. My name is Brian Schmidt, and I'm a junior. Michelle Augustine, also a junior. Olivia Bunkers, I'm a junior. Patricia Sitzman, I'm a senior. So we're going to just ask them some questions about what it's like to be on Christian Leadership Team and what they're doing um, as activities and everything for Christian Leadership Team. So I want you to think back to when you applied to be on Christian Leadership Team and um, what are some of, to explain what Christian Leadership Team is, what they do, and what qualities um, qualify you to be on Christian Leadership Team. Who wants to start? <laughs> Um, so like for Christian leadership team, um, <laughs> so we do a lot of things. We go out into like the community. We, um, help like take care of all of the assemblies and like veterans day service and fall day service day and all that stuff. Um, we also help in small groups with our school and like help build everybody up in their faith. Else? We definitely do a lot of um, go out and like spread good, good stuff. We call it outreach. So we do it in school and out of school, and that's to help everyone grow in their faith. And so, gentlemen, you answer the question: What qualifies, or what what are some <laughs> Christian leadership team qualities? You have to have leadership abilities. You have to be willing to go out and serve others, and you have to be active in your faith. Yeah. It's different from being just a leader. It's, it's Christian leadership, so we really tie our faith and bring our faith into everything that we're doing. I would say definitely flexibility is a big one. <laughs> because, you know, we plan stuff and then we got to change it all of a sudden. So yes. flexibility is a big one. Yeah. That's good. I have that. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> so what are some of the favorite projects that we're working on right now or that we've worked on already this year? We're doing Advent and gift bags right now, so everyone's compiling in, and so we can get Advent and gift bags together and give them to the community, to the nursing homes, and all that good stuff. <laughs> We're also doing a lot of outreach with like um, people in our school, like teachers and peers and staff, and then we're also doing like out in the community, like um, veterans and like backpack program, and then we also do um, we're also doing a lot of outreach for the nursing homes. Um, we didn't get to have our fall service day, but maybe you can talk a little bit about that, like what we had planned for fall service day or what we tried to do or we're going to do. We had planned on going out and breaking at different people's houses that are elderly or they're widowed and they can't do it necessarily themselves. So we we're going to go out and do that for them, but the weather kind of messed that up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's that flexibility that Mitchell was talking about. <laughs> we had it all nice and planned out, and then we had to switch it up. But the great thing about that was, and that's the great thing about working about with high school students, is that they are really able to shift and think, all right, so we can't do that. What can we do? And they shift their thinking and their mindset really fast, and that's encouraging and inspiring to me as well as their leader. So how has attending Galen Catholic helped you grow in your faith? And how are you using that, that faith and Christian leadership team and bringing it to others? Um, definitely from elementary to high school. In elementary school, we learned how to pray all the way up to now in high school. I'm a CLT member and I go out and do outreach stuff with backpack programs and fall service day, which now we didn't get to do, but we do a lot of outreach and stuff. So being able to just start from praying as a young kid to um, going out and showing others our faith. Yeah. Satisfied with that answer? <laughs> yeah. <that's okay. laughs> so something new this year that we have been doing are small groups. And that's one of the blessings that has come from COVID is that it changed how we are going to Mass, and it, but it's given us the opportunity to break out into these small groups throughout our whole 7th through 12th grade. And so all those students are divided into a small group and these and Christian leadership team members are leading those small groups. So talk a little bit about small groups and how you see it helping um, 
us come together, how you see it helping us grow in faith? Um, I think it helps us grow like our faith in a more personal level because instead of like a big classroom, it's just us in there and just discussing, not necessarily like learning and teaching and taking tests. It's more like a discussion based and opinion. So that kind of helps, I think. Right. We have lots of fun games. The other week we had Jeopardy. It was a big <laughs> hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and who planned that game, Olivia? Me. <laughs> and Hannah Zubron. So that made me laugh. We play games, and then we also um, have like fun with like silly questions and would you rather's. So it just helps people involve and get people together, talking to each other, and having their own little small group as like a little family. It's also easier to relate to the other kids in our school and like kids who are lower in their faith and really need help building up. We can like have them relate to others who are in the small group and also to us so we can help them grow. Yeah. So they're sitting in front of our motto. It's encourage one another and build each other up from 1 Thessalonians. And so we really, in everything that we do through Christian Leadership Team, we try to go back to that motto and how can we encourage others, how can we invite others as Jesus did. We always say Jesus had followers and gained followers by inviting and welcoming and encouraging and what, how can we do those things in our school.